In the early days of search engines, generic names reaped benefits of better search positions in alphabetically sorted search listings such as apple.com and amazon.com. But now this is not the case. I wonder why still people run after the generic names, maybe just riding the old tight. Due to mere demand, generic, literal and meaningful domain names are unbelievably expensive. For example, voice.com sold for $30 million. Place.com domain sold for $3 million. And whiskey.com also sold for $3 million. In 2007, RH Donnelly Corporation acquired business.com in $345 million. And after two years in 2009, RH Donnelly Corporation filed for bankruptcy, also reflecting the inherent weakness of generic business names. But even then, I don't recommend a generic and meaningful business name due to SEO disadvantages and the fact that these are non-brandable and non-distinctive names in most cases. For example, when I searched Galaxy in search engine, there was no entry of Galaxy.com on the first page of results. In 2022, Galaxy.com domain sold for $1.8 million and Unlock.com domain name sold for $1.2 million US dollar. Most descriptive brand names are limited in scope. For example, someone purchased wordplay.com domain in 0.1 million US dollar. But this name can only be used for a word game. Be mindful that your business name should not be limited to a specific niche. Who knows that in a noticeable short time, you must expand your business from a specific niche to other diverse aspects of business as did by Honda from manufacturing cars to aircrafts. On the other hand, with little effort you can find and register a short, unique and meaningless domain name in under 10 US dollar. Google domains and GoDaddy are a great starting point for domain search. At the end of this video, we can conclude that generic domain names are both expensive as well as unfavorable. You can learn more about choosing a right business name in next videos by Dozero.